daughter. I spent the night with Gigi, but you know, I had to wear my stuff. So officially switch your weather. Make sure you go shop at 36 apparel period. Happy Saturday, y'all. Um, I am on my way to pick up Amelia from her Gigi's house. She stayed the night and I'm grateful. Um, then I don't really have anything to do today. We have a birthday party for one of the missionaries at my church tonight. So I'm probably gonna come home, chill out, um, and then get ready for that. So pretty chill day. I do have to go get gas. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go get Millie and come back to the crib. And I still have a few hours before the event, but Amelia sleeps, so I'm gonna take full advantage of that opportunity to do my makeup now. I think I might film a reel and post it on Instagram. So if you are not following me on Instagram, go ahead. It'll be down here, but it's always linked in the description box. All of my social media handles, everything is linked down there. So if you are not following me on Instagram, do that. Hey Amen. Most of y'all are, because you know, we all family. But if not, go ahead and make it happen. So yeah. We'll film this video, then I might be back. Happy Monday, y'all. And yes, husband, this is your shacket. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to come on here and address something real quick because last week I talked about a flare up and medication. And I just kind of want to disclose this little tidbit of information. For those of you who follow me like on Facebook or Instagram, you already know probably what I'm going to talk about. But for those of you who don't know, I just kind of wanted to kind of debrief what I was talking about before I hit the road and start driving. So I am challenged with an autoimmune disease um, called Graves disease. And Graves disease happens to be an autoimmune disease disorder or disease that attacks the thyroid specifically so i was diagnosed a little over a year ago september 2022 is when i was diagnosed and my challenges were crazy like heart palpitations and i'll, I'll think i'll make a separate more um specific video talking about my journey with graves disease my diagnosis the back and forth process of being properly diagnosed which is can be its own video by itself the thing about the thyroid is that it is like one of the main communicators from the brain to the body it's it's a hormonal organ all these other type of things so in anybody but especially women it that you can feel it literally in any part of your body this last time when i had a flare-up i've never experienced this before but i can only attribute it to graves disease just based on everything else I was experiencing. But one thing that I, I was like, okay, I need to get back on top of my medicine because every time I walked down the stairs, I felt like I was falling down them. Like my equilibrium was just off. <laughs> it's not funny, but <laughs> I was at home and I had Amelia, I was carrying her down the stairs and I just hollered out of nowhere. And I was like, what is wrong with you? And I was like, I'm sorry, I thought I was falling. I'm not. But I definitely thought I was falling. He was like, yeah, you need to go ahead and refill this prescription. Or take. you need to go ahead and just get back to this medicine. Because absolutely not. Let me tell you why I stopped taking my medicine for a season. We were in a revival. And it was a prophetic revival. And the Lord worked a miracle for me in that moment. Because this is your thyroid. Your vocal cords go through the thyroid, right? So if your thyroid is inflamed, that puts pressure on your vocal cords. So every time we sing, every time I would exert myself, every time I would speak anything, my throat would feel horrible, like hoarse, very bad. I talked about this on my TikTok, if you don't know, but it would feel horrible. And I was at a service and the choir just got done singing. I was directing and singing at the same time because I can't help it. And my throat felt horrible. But in that moment, there was a, like a healing virtue in the room. And I received like instantaneous relief from that sore throat. And I thought that that meant that was instant relief from the illness. I have now come to realize that God's grace is sufficient. And though he delivered me from the discomfort, which I have not felt since that moment. I have not felt that discomfort since that moment. And so I do believe that God is working a miracle in that situation. But my mom kind of brought me to earth a little bit. She said, in that moment, though, were you believing God for a miracle or for healing? 
She said, because healing is a process. The 10 lepers, as they went, they were healed. So you may have gotten that immediate impact, but there's still some healing that you got to do. And I was like, like being rebellious against that because no, I got an instantaneous miracle. He did it in that moment for me. I know for myself, but I had to realize that sometimes you get that instant miracle and sometimes you just got to, you know, ride the wave, have faith and still believe God to, you know, work it out in his timing. These last like two weeks, I've been feeling like how I felt before I got diagnosed. And I was like, okay, God, I still believe you can heal me even while I'm taking my medication. I hope, I think I was just word vomiting. I always word vomit after work. I'm gonna start doing my own nails. I got a gel manicure last Saturday. Cause I was just trying to treat myself cause I should. And it's already chipping. Not this past Saturday, but that like the week before, it's already chipping. And dip powder is better for your nails anyway. You know, I'm trying to be, you know, pretty. You know, I'm trying to be cute. I'm trying to take care of myself, right? But I don't want to dip in nobody else's dip. Like, I don't want to dip where other people have been dipping. So I'm going to just get the dip powder set myself and do my own nails. Because one thing about it, if I put my mind to something, I learn how to do it. It's a wrap. I, 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 it's a wrap. For what I spend for one set of nails, or for what I spend for one gel manicure, I could buy a whole kit and do my nails for three years. Girl, bye. What? Watch me do it. Chipping, chipping, chipping. Hate it here. Oh my gosh. It's Monday, which y'all know is my Sabbath. So, ain't too much gonna be going on today. Um, once again, I have to figure out dinner. I think this is next week. I'm gonna know what I'm eating. Watch. Anyway, but I'm about to go home, see my husband and my daughter. And yeah, we'll just see where the night takes us. And I'll take y'all along. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are back home. That's blue clothes in the background because I'm about to try to do Amelia's hair. I'm gonna try to braid it down. Y'all, her hair is so thick. I'm gonna show y'all. Look at all the hair. And I'm about to try to braid it. If you were here for vlog part one, you already know, and I wasn't even braiding her hair. I was putting it in a ponytail. I was brushing up her edges, that's it. So I pray my strength in the Lord. Hopefully, blue's clues and some little snacks will help us get through this. Amen? Amen. Watch Blue's Clues. I think I'm gonna just try again tomorrow. If you're reading, you need to read. Y'all, I did it. It took about an hour, but we got it done. You wanna show them your hair? Wanna show them your hair? Come here. Ooh, turn around. Ooh, so pretty. <laughs> Probably won't be doing too much vlogging tonight. I kind of don't feel like it. Um, but so if I don't hear from y'all, if you don't hear from me tonight, tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Um, it is Wednesday morning. The vlog will be going up today, but I just want to leave y'all um, high and dry like that from the vlog yesterday. <laughs> I didn't vlog at all. Um, and so I just didn't want to like hang up the phone like that. Like that's rude. But I didn't want to let y'all know that the vlog will be up today. Um, and I'm gonna come back and vlog. I'm gonna come back and vlog this afternoon for Saturday's vlog. But I'm so appreciative of you guys hanging with me. Um, and I hope y'all enjoying it, you know, just um, that level of community, because that's really what I'm here for. So yeah make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe and you share because we're trying to grow that's how you driving that's what's up so i'm running late i'm running late for work not horribly late like i'm gonna get there like we're supposed to be there at 7 10 i'm gonna get there like probably 7 12 or something like that you do not like leaving the house at a certain time because once it hits seven o'clock these people act like they don't know how to drive move over 
but anyway i will see you guys later today and be on the lookout for saturday's vlog